Hey everyone reflected here. Today, I'd like to show you what kind of custom skins you'll be getting with my upcoming V for Victory DCS Mosquito campaign. As you know, when I release a campaign for DCS World, it always comes with a bunch of highly realistic, historically accurate liveries too. Because let's face it, looks matter. V for Victory, my upcoming Mozzie campaign, has been pretty much finished for the past year but because we didn't have the official skin template, I could not make any custom skins and without skins I couldn't take screenshots or make a trailer, so it was all put on hold. But now the template is out and I've been busy. I was really excited to download the official template, but then I was quite disappointed to be honest. First of all, a skin is made of 9 or more files, which is a lot of saving and exporting. 9 files, I have 8 skins, so every time I change the shade of a color, for example, that's 72 file exports. Pretty time consuming, but okay, it's pretty normal for 2022 because it's very detailed, like the Tomcat for example. But when I realized that each rivet and latch on the engine nacelles and wings were placed separately in the UV map, and they were scattered randomly all over the template. Are you kidding me? I had to hunt down and find each rivet and latch by trial and error using vivid colors and it took a lot of precious time away from my life. Not user friendly would be a serious understatement. How do they expect the community to use this and create custom skins? It's a shame but I bit the bullet and finished the skins. I don't like using stock skins in my campaigns because they are usually not so realistic, kind of rushed and it was especially true for the Mosquito. Let me show you why. This is a Mosquito FB6 that still flies. As you see the camo is dark green and light grey, like your typical late war Spitfire camo but without the dark grey on the top surfaces. The letters are sky colored like the underside of Battle of Britain era Spitfire Mark 1s and the overall paint job is pretty glossy. I'm sure it wasn't so glossy during wartime but they were probably kept reasonably clean. Glossiness is really hard to judge based on photos, especially old black and white ones. But I've done a lot of research and I'm fairly confident that in World War 2 they were somewhat glossy too, definitely not flat. Now have a look at the stock RAF skin. The colors are all wrong, the light grey is too dark, the dark green is too light and the hue is off too. The whole paint job is pretty flat, the markings are all kinds of wrong, not only incorrect colors but the ratio of the red and blue on the wing is totally off too. On top of all this, the weathering is way overdone, it's a typical Skinner slash plastic model or mistake. Weathering looks cool, so they end up overdoing it and that's counterproductive. Oh, and look at the metallic layer. White is metal, black is non-metal. It influences how it reflects light. This one is all grey, which doesn't even make sense, half metal paint? I don't get it, if ED releases such beautiful, realistic, study level modules. Why do they release it with such rushed external textures that don't match the otherwise high quality of the module? Ok, let me show you what I did. Accurate colors and markings, much less weathering and a more satin finish. Dialing in the colors is always difficult, you can't just color pick the original color even if it's available. You use the hue, but the brightness and saturation has to be fine tuned to match the overall look of the game and the scenery, that is the hardest part of making a skin. This generic 1944 RAF fighter bomber skin is the one you'll be using the most during the campaign, but your character will have a personalized one, with a little nose art, V for victory. Different Mozzie squadrons were specialized in different mission types and had a wide variety of paint jobs and I love them all. So just like the campaign will be an unrealistic mix, a medley 
of realistic and historically accurate missions, ones that wouldn't normally be flown by the same squadron, I took the liberty and used different skins for each mission type, whatever seemed most relevant. So there will be a historical bombing mission that took place in 1943, so you'll be flying a 1943 bomber mozzie with dark green, dark grey camo on the top surfaces. Too bad we don't have the Plaxi nose in game, but you won't need it anyway. You'll also be flying a night bomber mission using Oboe, so it's only fair that you get a night bomber skin too. Same as the previous one except with black sides and undersides and red ID letters. Then you'll have some night fighter missions too, and I'm giving you two skins to match them. An early night fighter livery, that is all black with red ID letters and a late war one that is a standard light grey dark green camo but with black undersides. You'll also fly a photo recon mission, so you're getting this beauty in PRU blue as well. Flying at high altitudes, it camouflages the aircraft better than the normal livery. Last but not least, although my campaign is set before D-Day, so you won't be using this one. I'm still giving you another mozzie as a bonus with D-Day stripes and sky-colored propeller spinners. That's all, I hope you like them. They're all generic skins with variable board numbers and letters so you can select whatever you like in the mission editor. Before you ask, I don't know when the campaign is coming. Now I'm busy with final testing, taking screenshots and so on so most likely early next year, definitely after Speed and Angels. Alright, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to subscribe and to ring the notification bell for further updates. See ya!